Even in the magical world of Disney, good judgment and foresight are often overlooked. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 worst decisions ever made in Disney animated movies. Ah, uh, you'll get over it. I seem to recall you prefer to work alone. Like what you're watching? Well, don't forget to check out Junior Mojo and watch more videos that the whole family can enjoy. For this list, we're looking back at some of the most boneheaded moves made by some of our favorite Disney heroes and sidekicks, along with the consequences that followed. The villains have dug their own graves as well, but there's enough to make a list of its own. It is the hyenas who are the real enemy. It was their fault. It was their idea. Why should I believe you? Also, if you haven't seen any of these movies, we're issuing a spoiler warning just in case. Number 10. Now what? Finding Nemo franchise. We're all gonna escape. Gil, please, not another one of your escape plans. Sorry, but they, they just, they never work. Yeah, why should this be any different? The Tank Gang, Nemo's new friends from the dentist's fish tank, are desperate to escape their glass prison and return to the Big Blue. Their scheme is actually well thought out and works perfectly, except for one minor detail. They're stuck in their bags with no follow-up plan. Yeah! <laughs> now what? After a whole year of traveling across the ocean, their bags full of algae, they make it to California, only to be rescued by the Marine Life Institute. The gang's intent sounded foolproof on paper, but their lack of foresight only brought them back to square one. Though to be fair, the Institute is bound to be better than the dentist's office. Sigourney Weaver says so. Welcome to the Marine Life Institute, where we believe in rescue, rehabilitation, and release. Number 9. Giving Away Aurora's Location – Sleeping Beauty After being threatened by the malicious Maleficent, the three fairies, Flora, Fauna, and Meriwether keep Princess Aurora hidden in a cottage until her 16th birthday. They prep the cottage for the party using a little magic. After taking precautions to avoid being seen, Oh, pluck up every cranny. We can't take any chances. Unfortunately, Flora and Meriwether's opposing tastes in color for Aurora's new dress escalates into a full-on magic war that literally sends up a flare, giving their location away to Maleficent's spy. Talk about embarrassing. After all their safety measures, they inadvertently doom their dear princess over petty creative differences. Make it blue. Pink. Fortunately, they get a chance to make amends for their laughable slip up by helping to end the mistress of all evil's reign. So arm thyself with this enchanted shield of virtue and this mighty sword of truth. Number 8. Leaving the Lamp Behind. Aladdin. <sighs> Genie's right. I, 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 I gotta tell Jasmine the truth. Ali, oh Ali. Aladdin's little Prince Ali masquerade started out well, but he may have gotten in over his head. Fearing he can't keep up his charade without Genie, he breaks his promise of wishing him free. Fine, I understand. After all, you've lied to everyone else. Hey, I was beginning to feel left out. When he does decide to confess, Iago tricks him into leaving so that he can steal the lamp for Jafar, enabling the wicked ex-vizier to use Genie's magic to dominate not only Agrabah, but also the world. It was bad enough that Aladdin's lying got out of control, but if he had just freed Genie when given the chance, this wouldn't have happened. Thankfully, the street rat has a few tricks of his own to set things right. You wanted to be a Genie? You got it! Whoop! And everything that goes with it! No! No. Number 7. The Nice Lander's Treatment of Ralph – Wreck-It Ralph Ralph's gone turbo! <gasps> Wreck-It Ralph's idea to leave Fix-It Felix Jr. to prove he can be a hero was incredibly risky. But come on, all he really wanted was respect from the rest of the characters. Are there medals for wrecking stuff really well? To that, I say ha! <laughs> Felix himself tries to avoid drama, but the Nice Landers are anything but nice. They don't invite Ralph to the anniversary party, despite how major a role he plays, and they constantly antagonize him like he's still a villain even after hours. Because you're just the bad guy who wrecks the building. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Without Ralph, there wouldn't even be a game, and yet the Nicelanders want nothing to do with him. So if you look at the big picture, 
It's really their fault he went turbo on them to try and prove his point. Sometimes I think, man, it sure must be nice being the good guy. Number 6. Trusting Yzma and Kronk – The Emperor's New Groove It turns out that mistreating people can have serious consequences. If only Cusco knew this when he fired Yzma and Kronk. Um, how else can I say it? You're being let go, your department's being downsized, you're part of an outplacement. We're going in a different direction, we're not picking up your option, take your pick. He thinks they'll just get over it, but they secretly plot to kill him, only to accidentally turn him into a llama. A llama? He's supposed to be dead! Yeah, weird. Pacha, the only one willing to help him, tries to warn Cusco about the twosome when they're looking for him, but the arrogant emperor blindly thinks the two are still loyal to him and angrily pushes the kindly peasant away. By the time he overhears the truth, it's too late. Cusco was left hopeless and alone in the wilderness. So, this is where you came in. A costly price to pay for mistreating your friends and enemies. Number 5. Stealing the Heart of Tefiti, Moana If you go too far to please someone, you can actually end up making things worse. Thank you. You're welcome. What? No, no, no. I, I didn't. I wasn't. Why would I ever say <laughs> okay, that? I okay. mean, the shape-shifting trickster demigod Maui wanted desperately to earn humanity's approval. To do it, he stole the heart of the mother island Te Fiti, hoping that its life-giving magic would benefit the mortals. It almost sounded like you don't like me, which is impossible because I got stuck here for a thousand years trying to get the heart as a gift for you mortals. Without the heart, however, Te Fiti transformed into the monstrous Te Ka, and a plague of darkness was unleashed on the world, slowly killing the other islands. Given his tragic upbringing, Maui isn't really a bad guy. He just made the mother of all mistakes and practically doomed the ocean. They threw me into the sea. Like I was nothing. Luckily, one brave island girl can help the demigod make up for his blunder. Number 4. Ignoring Buddy, The Incredibles Cool, ready for takeoff! What the? Who are you supposed to be? Well, I'm Incrediboy! What? Back in his glory days, Mr. Incredible had a persistent number one fan, Buddy Pine. The delusional youngster tried to use his tech smarts to prove that he was worthy of being Mr. Incredible's sidekick, Incrediboy, but he only got in the way. I invented these. I can fly. Can you fly? Fly home, buddy. I work alone. Oui, et est complètement ridicule. For his fan's safety, the aggravated hero rejected him, but it did more damage than he thought. Having lost his faith in superheroes, Buddy grew up to become the ultimate villain Syndrome, who used his inventions and money to plan the ultimate revenge on the hero who shunned him. But I learned an important lesson. You can't count on anyone, especially your heroes. Dealing with problematic fans is risky business. If you're too hard on them, they could end up becoming your arch nemesis. Number 3. Separating Anna and Elsa – Frozen We will limit her contact with people and keep her powers hidden from everyone, including Anna. Anna and Elsa were once thick as thieves until Elsa accidentally hurt Anna with her ice powers. Their parents do damage control by wiping Anna's memory of her sister's magic, making Elsa conceal her powers rather than try to control them, and having both sisters shut out from the outside world. And each other. Do you want to build a snowman? It doesn't have to be a snowman. Go away, Anna. Okay, bye. Unfortunately, this only made things worse. Anna can't understand why Elsa is avoiding her, Elsa grew to fear her abilities with no way to properly control them, and worst of all, what was once a strong sisterhood faded away. If they had been there for each other, maybe Anna wouldn't have fallen for a conniving pretty boy like Hans. Oh, Anna. If only there was someone out there who loved you. Number 2. Refusing to help the Enchantress – Beauty and the Beast You have been deceived by your own cold heart. The Beast's temper is more ugly than his appearance, but his face wasn't always this grisly. A long time ago, he was a spoiled prince surrounded by faithful servants. One night, an Enchantress disguised as an ugly elderly woman begged him for shelter in exchange for a magical rose. But he rejected her. Repulsed by her haggard appearance, the prince sneered at the gift and turned the old woman away. As punishment, she cursed the castle, 
turning the prince into a monstrous beast and his servants into talking furniture. And as punishment, she transformed him into a hideous beast and placed a powerful spell on the castle and all who lived there. The only way to break the curse is if he can find and receive true love before the last rose petal falls, showing him how true beauty is found within and what happens when you cross the wrong sorceress. Before we unveil the worst call of all, here are a few dishonorable mentions. Hi diddly dee, a night is light for me. A high silk hat and a silver cane, a watch of gold with a diamond chain. Melody can't know about merpeople or Atlanta cut, or even you, Daddy. <sighs> Very well, Ariel. Number one, eating the poisoned apple. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. All alone, my pet. Snow White is left in charge of the cottage for the day, and the dwarfs inform her to keep an eye out for the Wicked Queen's tricks. The queen arrives disguised as an old hag with a magic wishing apple. One bite, and all your dreams come true. Despite her friend's warnings, the naive princess lets her in and bites the tainted fruit, falling into a cursed slumber. <laughs> If the Beauty and the Beast case is any indication, we should all be aware of possible stranger danger, something Snow White miserably failed at. Even though she gets her wish in the end, it feels rather bittersweet how she achieved it only after falling for such a dumb trick so easily. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.